Well, Julie, work is scheduled to start this Saturday on Retiming the Lights. And, you know, for us here, we are used to sitting at lights for a long time here at Richmond. Now, here's a look at each of the lights that are up for retiming. This is just one part of Richmond's participation in the <sighs> Vision Zero initiative, which aims to improve safety for both drivers and pedestrians. For pedestrians, they can expect to see high visible, visible crosswalks, accessible ramps, better countdown signals, and improved signal timings. For drivers, the retime is expected to reduce the number of stops, starts and stops, which supporters say will decrease wear and tear on cars, improve gas mileage, and in turn will reduce emissions. City officials are urging everyone to be patient as they put the plan into motion. You can tell that there's a lot of uh, turning movements that happen at our traffic signals. They're the busiest places for everyone to, to use our system. Um, so we've carefully got a craft um, how uh, the vehicles and uh, people crossing the street and um, uh, all the users get together. Now, crews will begin their work Saturday starting at Belvedere and working their way east for the next six weeks. And then they'll take a break. And then once traffic patterns start returning again to normal, they'll start again in the spring at the west of the boulevard. The city says they're paying for this project through state and federal returns. Working for you in Richmond tonight, Raymond Hawks. CBS 6 News.